Hi, welcome to Let's Play Math, where we play some games, learn some math, and have some fun. This is part six of our series on fractions. It's called Equivalent Fractions, What's the Same? Do you remember the first example in this series? We split a cookie right down the middle, and I gave you one half. If we split it again, you have two fourths, but it's still the same part of the cookie. So one half equals two fourths. Now look at those fractions. There were two parts, and now there are four, twice as many. And you had one of those parts, and now you have two, twice as many. In effect, we multiplied the top by two and the bottom by two. Let's try that again. Two times two equals four, and four times two equals eight. So two fourths equals four eighths. And if we split the cookie into eight equal pieces, you can see that you have one, two, three, four of those pieces. In fact, you can take any fraction, say three fourths, multiply the top by any number you like, and multiply the bottom by the same number, and you'll always get an equivalent fraction. Let's pick three. Three times three equals nine and four times three equals twelve, so three-fourths equals nine-twelfths. Neat trick, huh? Let's practice it, playing matching math equivalent fractions at shepherdsoftware.com. As always, you can practice in relaxed mode or beat the clock for a high score. Just find the matching fractions. You can use the pictures for a hint, but look at the numbers to be sure. For instance, are one-fourth and two-eighths really the same? Well, one times two equals two, and two times four equals eight. So one-fourth matches two-eighths. Finish the card to move on to the next level. Just remember, the more you practice, the easier it'll get. Now, just type Shep into your favorite search engine to find shepherdsoftware.com. Click on Math Games, then on Fractions, and then on Equivalent Fractions Matching, and try it for yourself. We'll see you again next time for another episode of Let's Play Math.